Hello and welcome back to Lorefat Gaming Plays, the video the original Sin Enhanced Edition. I'm your host, Lorefat. In this video, original Sin Enhanced Edition walkthrough video, we're doing the burning chest. Also, we're going to hunt down some undead. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Do not forget to hit notification bell so be updated and much more. In the last video, I did the Twin Dungeons, so we're going back to North of Sicilia, clear out some undead first before actually doing the Burning Chest quest. Along the way, we're going to get some nice extra loot and another quest, too. Time to leave Sicil through the North Gate, so let's go ahead and take the North Gate. And I'm going to say this area has two battles you could uh, fight. If you can avoid them somehow, which I think is almost impossible go ahead and do the battles anyways so we'll go this direction now I'm gonna go ahead and avoid two spots the fire area and the level 7 to 8 area since I am right now at level 5 which is not a good idea I will at least try to edge up towards level 6 or close to it so I do the orc stuff and also uh, the Evelyn stuff too at 6 so just take this bridge now uh, coming up will be some new foes undead boars they move fast, however, they're uh, weak like the uh, undead against fire. However, do not poison them, you'll uh, see why. Well, actually, I'll just spoil it now. They heal from poison. Yeah, so that's their uh, immunity is poison. Other than that, if you can keep them on fire in any way, shape, or form via fire grenades, you will do well. So I'm going to do set up the uh, tactics right now to attack. So I'm going to try aim for those three. Once I do, I'll start the battle. I'll return after.
put place. Now that wasn't bad as you notice the fire fuel I made it made things a lot more easier. Eventually down the line I'll have to start using less of that since foes will uh, eventually be more immune to fire or more resistant depending on who I am facing. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some nice loot, elegant leather armor. I'm gonna have to check that off, uh, off screen see if it's any worth it. Oh wow Peter Lee's sword that is a nice uh, one-handed weapon. I'll hold on to that though once I do get my grenader, some points in the dual wielding. Once I have that, she'll be able to do more damage. Right now I'm using the old blunt weapon method until level 8. Then I'm going uh, axes in each hand. Kind of like Skyrim. Well, not really Skyrim. You could pick uh, maces, swords, or axes. I was going dual wielding in Skyrim anyway, so it was more fun. And I pick a Nord too. So you can put two and two together. So anyways, that's the cave I'm going to go ahead and avoid. I'm not going through it. And let me uh, speak uh, what's uh, going on. So next up, our uh, archer. We're going to speak with her. Uh, this choice may or may not uh, affect her. Still talk to her. And yeah, always try to keep yourself more independent. So this way, it'll help you out greatly with her personal quest down the line. After that, I'm going to go ahead and just grab the Legionnaire's Will quest. That will... Uh, actually end in another region not size seal you always want to grab these quests because you may never know if you can't do them now at least you could definitely do them later so I'm gonna start all this stuff I'll return after source hunter I saw something in size seal that has puzzled me for some time perhaps you might help me understand before I was caged by the screech woman I met a man who asked me to spare a coin. I guess he wanted something to trade for food or clothes. Yet he seemed no weaker than the other townsfolk. He was not sick or old. How can it be that he cannot hunt his own food? Why does he ask others to do this for him? Tins when does the wind sound the same as a stray dog hungry for bones? My bones! Oh, for the love of Grogna. Did you hear that? It's just the wind, Glossius. Claw your boots. Since when does the wind sound the same as a stray dog hungry for In the home forest, we have no common good. One must hunt or one must starve. I cannot be sure our way is better than that of the beggar and the giver. Did you hear that? It's just the wind, Glossius. Claw your boots. Since when does the wind sound the same as a stray dog hungry for bones? My bones! <laughs> Will you... stay... back? This haunted yard is terrifying enough without you scaring the marrow out of me. To answer your question, my... Partner and I were part of an ill-fated cohort of legionnaires sent by Lieutenant Selenia to inspect this church. I suspect the eerie goings on at that very church for why Livia and I had strapped in our bones instead of prancing about the Hall of Echoes right now. And I do mean strapped. Oh, what a gift to see my... Oh! What was that? Phew. I thought I heard a zombie. As I was saying, oh, what a gift to see my darling wife, Marissa, once more. Cuddly, waddly doodle pop. Light of my life, fire of my flesh. 
Since I'm good as dead, I'd do anything to be able to deliver one final letter to my dear Marissa. If I tried to go back to civilization, though, I'd be zapped, speared, or smashed on sight. It rattles my bones just imagining it. Say, you're alive. Heartbeat, squishy parts and all. Perhaps you could d d deliver it for me. Just remember this is a private matter between man and wife. No peeking, if you please. You'll run into the entrance if you keep along this road, though I wouldn't recommend it if you value ke keeping your skin attached to your face. The place is teeming with necromancers and the g g ghastly creatures they've been resurrecting. Lava. Hellfire, a moon shrine, and that's only in the courtyard behind us. I'm afraid our troop never made it past the horror that lurks there. Did you hear that? It's just the wind, Glossius. Call your boots. Since when does the wind sound the same as a stray dog hungry for bones? My bones! Oh, for the love of Grognar! Here's what went down exactly. So what happened was, is uh, after I talked to my archer, then I talked to the two. I was given the uh, will quest. So the uh, will quest is you can alter the will with uh, ink and quill if you want to. Or you can just leave it unaltered. I think there's a trophy slash achievement for one or the other or both. Still, uh, I'll sp uh, explain on what my choices was once I do get to the next region. It's very tragic what happened to both Legionnaires. Still, they're keeping their humanity for now. And let me grab some stuff. Now, I am not going beyond the fire because that's a level 7 to 8 area. Wait a second. No. My notes say uh, level 9. Just put like an exclamation point on it. Yeah, avoid that area. Don't go through it. Otherwise, you get your butt kicked. So, there will be another set of undead coming up. It's just like the last one. Boars, archers, casters. Really easy, real simple. Put them on fire. That's about it. This is a great way to get some nice experience points and other stuff too. Yeah, so definitely do all this. I mean, come on, you're trying to get to level 6 at least at this uh, point. Great idea to squeeze all that experience points in. Well, that's my advice anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and wander. Accidentally trigger the battle. I'll return after I do win. Double time.
Listen. That wasn't too bad. My uh, two-hander guy got a little bit nicked, but that's all right. So uh, anyway, it's time to uh, clean up the battlefield. And uh, uh, for this sub-region, that's really about it for the big battles. Uh, rest of the time the video will be small battles, not that hard. So let me uh, make sure I clean everything up. I always use the left alt key on the computer. I don't remember what it was on the consoles, but keep the stuff highlighted so this way you can see what you uh, definitely want to get. Yeah, Diablo 2 Resurrected made it nice though, where you just uh, permanently uh, make sure the things on the ground is highlighted, which is a good thing. So I'm going to go ahead right now and talk about what is coming up next. The burning chest works like this. You'll see a chest on fire. Make sure you uh, do not interact with it. It'll just uh, be a waste of time. Simply cast a rain spell on it. Once that happens, the chest will get away. Once you catch up with the chest, something else will happen. I'll give you uh, one hint. Keep uh, any of your frost magic ready. You'll definitely need it. Otherwise, bad results will definitely happen, especially on iron difficulty. So I'm going to go ahead and start this uh, thing up. I will return after I am done with it. That was a skeleton bomber inside the treasure chest. What was great about it was I froze it and it could not do its exploding damage, which was great. And you do get random loot from inside here from time to time, so definitely do little things like this. It'll help out big time. So I'm going to make some money off these wands too. So let's grab that. Now our uh, ranger slash archer, she's going to go ahead and uh, discover something. See? Her uh, perception's up there. I gave her like uh, two rings that'll boost up her perception so this way she'll spot what we're going to look for. Now I might do an extra video on anything else I didn't find like hidden treasure maps or anything like that before leaving Psy Seal area. Oh wow that is a nice ring. Let's uh, go ahead and do this one too. Uh, that's a decent bow. Oh, let's grab that and this uh, die. Yeah I'm not going to really use any of the dies. Still, I'm going to go ahead and search the area for a little bit more before going back to size seal. Let's check that out. Okay, that's the uh, problem. No wonder I've been missing because the uh, bow I have on is level 6 and a level 4 bow will hit more likely. Yeah, so definitely equip items that are at your level or a little bit below. If you do above, then you incur hidden penalties. Now, that actually showed up in Divinity Original Sin 2. Yeah, I was going around with a nice one, uh, two-hand sword for a while in that game, uh, and it was like a few levels above me. It hurt me big time. So yeah, definitely make sure you look for items that are even Steven. You can use it, and once you uh, do uh, level up on said item that you have that is not your level yet, then you got that level, equip it. That's a little advice from me, so I'm looking. Okay, nothing else is here. Let's check the... Uh, Thing out. Okay, we'll leave that alone. I think everybody else has better. So I believe once I'm done uh, searching through the rest of this area, I'll go back to town. I'm just going to try to squeeze a few things out before I actually uh, go ahead and uh, do one last thing in size seal, which is uh, talk to one person and clean out the graveyard. Yeah, I'm going back to uh, that. There's also a little tutorial there that I uh, X'd out about uh, 
about overlevel enemies too. I'll explain once I do get to the graveyard for now. I'm going to search for something. What is, let's see if I do, wait a second, 300 experience points. That is weird. It is not showing up in my log. But, oh, well, I'll take it though. It's free experience, right, everyone? I mean, come on. It's really uh, great. So I'm going to double check, make sure I did clear out the area before actually uh, going back to town. And this is the uh, last of the level 5 stuff anyway, so I believe I have won the uh, day on that part. So let's uh, look. And what do I see? Okay, just uh, body parts. Yeah, I cleared that out. And yeah, I uh, did it. So I'm going to avoid that cave. And it's time to uh, definitely go back to Seal. Talk to the second command. Tell her her uh, two legionnaires that were missing where they're at. At least they give her some uh, news, which is a good thing. I don't think you get anything out of it, but still, it's kind of like a courtesy thing. And besides, the second command's very cool. I prefer her being leader of the legionnaires instead of the other guy. That's just my own uh, personal opinion. And there she is. So good to see you again, Source Hunter. They must come from somewhere, from some vile source. I could make a feeble pun about your hunting for said source, but no. The undead are no laughing matter. All I can ask is that you don't give up on us. We need you. I shall be very glad to share what information I can give you. By all means. For two years, all... Still, I thank you for telling me, Source Hunter. Knowledge is better than uncertainty. By all means. I'll grant you that the two of my legionnaires. They all... Time to hit the graveyard. So these two enemies were about to face. They're level 8. It's supposed to be like a tutorial telling you on uh, over level enemies. And do be careful of them. Now, also probably I should tell you hiddenly is you should get a party of four to deal with uh, at least one over level enemy. So I'm going to go ahead and do uh, both fights after uh, that is all done and over with. I'll uh, definitely recap the video. So let's go ahead and fight some undead. Good rotten lunch. Taste of the gathering storm. Oh! 
Bless the seven, I am restored. A stitch in time, eh, friends? a very fun fight so here's a recap for this uh, video so first of all what I uh, did was kill some undead then I talked to our archer in the party after that got the will quest kill more undead did the burning chest mini quest after uh, that got some loot which was a good thing came back here clear out the graveyard of undead and that's it well everyone this is it for my divinity original sin hands edition walk through the burning chest and undead hunting video this is Lord Fenton signing off Thank you for watching and have a great day or night. Please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more content like this. If you like what you see, then pick my suggestions on the upper left hand corner or YouTube suggestions on the bottom left hand corner. Have a great day or night and do enjoy the barbecue.